Hello, uh, in this video we're going to see that the sum of n independent random variables with exponential distribution and parameter lambda follows a gamma distribution with parameters n and lambda. That is, we will show that the probability density function for this sum is equal to this, uh, which is known to be the uh, gamma distribution. So this equals the probability that this sum equals the value t. To show that this is the case, we will use uh, induction proof. And we start with the induction basis, uh, which is the case when we only have one uh, random variable. So here, n becomes 1 and this n becomes 1 as well and this thing is equal to 0 and this is 0 and we are left with this expression which is just the uh, probability distribution of one random variable. So this assumption works in the case n is equal to 1. Then we express the induction hypothesis, which is that n minus 1 uh, exponentially distributed random variables has this distribution. And the goal is to show that given this assumption, uh, we're able to derive the case that n uh, random variables becomes the gamma distribution. So. Next, we have the induction step, which says that this probability density function, which you want to show is equal to the gamma distribution, is equal to this expression. And to see why, uh, we argue as follow. N, min N minus 1 random variables is equal to the value S. And then we have one additional random variable which in total becomes n random variables. Uh, and this random variable, the n random variables should be equal to t. So since we know that n minus 1 is equal to s, uh, the time left for the last exponentially distributed random variable uh, is equal to this value. And s here could be anything from zero to infinity. We continue and we just replace uh, this expression with our induction hypothesis. So this is this part and the probability density function for this is equal to this, which is just one additional exponential distributed random variable, uh, and we consider the interval t minus s. Also, we know that since s cannot exceed t, we have the limit is actually not infinity but t, because if s is greater than t, uh, then this becomes a zero. So that's why we change the limits. Next, we take out some uh, terms which are constant and do not depend on S. So this is equal to this times this one. N minus two is found here. And we are left with, uh, with this. And we need to find the uh, primitive function to solve the integration. So on this line, we have this, which is still what we had here. And this is actually also a constant, so it will not uh, change 
depending on the value of s. However, this n minus 2 is now n minus 1, because if we take the uh, derivative of uh, this expression, this one falls down, and therefore we divide by the same uh, term here. And also, you have this outer function and this inner part of the function, and when we take the derivative, uh, it, we have um, this constant. So that's the reason why we divide uh, by lambda. And now we are almost done. We just uh, simplify. So this one, they take out each other. And then we have this multiply with this becomes this. And what we are lef left with is just uh, what we want to show, the gamma distribution. So that's it. Thank you.